My grandmother knew the lady in the picture and always said everyone knew Mrs. Sanderson because she always wore long skirts and Mr. Sanderson actually had an art shop in Richmond um, which was in Frenchgate in Richmond and, and sold easels and paints and the like. Um, I guess to all the artists who converge on Richmond to do paintings of the castle and yes. the surrounding district. The actual medium is watercolour and body colour and the body colour gives more weight to the paint. And I can think you can see this quite clearly, the way that the structure and the forms are built up, regardless of the folds in the dress, are built up in a hatching, cross-hatching way, a diagonal way. Even here, just away from the dress, you can see the way that it is built up very carefully. But when one comes away and outside the main figure, kind of halo effect round, uh, around her, you will see that the outside of the picture, the buildings and the pan here are expressed in more conventional style. Now the Italians in the 19th century um, devised uh, this particular technique and they were called divisionists. I think it's possible, I think it would be good to look at the um, label on the back because the painting has been kept in its original frame and doesn't look as if it's actually been taken out of the no. frame ever. And here's the label here with the Darling, Darlington Society of Artists, the subject, the washing day, the original price, and then the artist's name and address. Now, it's a little bit difficult to uh, fix a price on it, especially as it's a local artist, and I think it's probably a rather unusual painting, probably uh, kind of a one-off in many ways. But I would imagine that um, it would be worth something in the region of... Um, a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds. I don't know I'm what sure that my, seems to you. My grandmother would have been absolutely thrilled. Delighted, yes. Yeah. Mm. Put those down there. Look at these. Well, these are three very pretty and in fact beautiful plates actually. I'd love to find out where you found them or how you acquired them, where they inherited. Well, they're inherited from my grandfather. Yes. Uh, he collected them, and it was one of his hobbies. Mm. Well, he got some nice examples here. I mean, if you're starting with this, which is actually a coal pot plate, rather in the, the Welsh manner, uh, it's a very pretty thing, um, and that's probably worth, say, £100. Um, this is a very pretty plate here. Um, do you know what this is? No, no, nothing look, at look all. Look at the back, it. and you see Chelsea, Chelsea red anchor yeah. mark, so it's mid-18th century. English porcelain plate from the Chelsea factory, moulded in rather the Meissen style, and beautifully painted. There are some minor imperfections here, but yeah. it's actually like pull the value down a bit. But that's probably probably would fetch something in the order of four fifty to five hundred fifty pounds. Um, this plate here is quite the most sumptuous thing. I would hazard a guess it may be even one of the most beautiful pieces of continental porcelain we've had in the Antiques Roadshow. Mm. It doesn't take. You know, a great expert to see the incredible quality of painting. No. Do you know what factory it is? Nothing at all. Nothing about at all. It. No. Well, in a way, it's 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 a German it's a German porcelain factory of Nymphenburg. Um, turning it round here, you will see the mark. There's a sort of impressed mark of a shield, which is yeah, actually the yeah. Bavarian shield. These plates were, were probably met, come from um, the the service which was made for the electoral court. Um, now they are wonderfully painted by a man called uh, Joseph Zeckenberger, who specialized in doing these superb botanical subjects and marvelous insects, and also a sumptuous gilding. Now we get on to the business of, of what one thinks it's worth. Um, it's nice that sometimes one can be fairly precise. In this particular example, I do happen to know that two plates from this service uh, came up for auction in Geneva, where they generally they sell very yeah, well in that yeah. particular location. Uh, do you know any idea what you reckon they made? None idea. No so. idea. What <laughs> has a guess? A thousand. Well, you're a little bit on the conservative side. You know, one made last year the equivalent of eight thousand pounds. Yeah, <laughs>